ridiculed everyone on the roster. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. So last week, PlayStation Naughty Dog had probably one of the worst, I would say worst weeks um, because not only were they hacked by Insomniac, they were hacked through Insomniac and they were being basically held at gunpoint by these hackers. Then you had the whole, or where is the Last of Us factions? If you don't know what the Last of Us factions is, well, basically it's a The Last of Us, but it's online. It's like your Fortnite, your Call of Duty type of of a video game, I guess you can say. Now, in the original Last of Us game, they had factions. I never played it because I really don't like playing online. I know a lot of people, they want to play online, man. If you can't play online, you ain't playing games. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, okay? When it comes to me, I like playing games for the story and then for the gameplay. If you can catch me with your story, I'm hooked. If the gameplay is fucking phenomenal, but your story is just so bad, I'm done, right? But maybe I'm different. Maybe some people prefer the other way or whatever, right? Well, with the original Last of Us, they had factions. Then uh, I believe they did the remastered, and I think they took it out. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, and then they had uh, The Last of Us Part 1, which is just a, like a remaster, but for the PS5. They didn't have factions in there. The Last of Us Part 2 didn't have, uh, didn't have factions at all. Uh, but the gameplay was improved a lot. Um, even though a lot of people didn't play it because of what happened to Joe, I didn't play it because of what happened to Joe. I bought it because I had a pre-order. I saw the leaks and I was like, you know what? Hopefully it's not at the beginning of the game. Like the leaks were saying because I, I didn't believe it. I was like, there's no fucking way you're going to kill Joe at the beginning of the fucking game. I was wrong. As soon as it happened, I told my brother, here you go. You want it? You play it. I don't want nothing to do with this game. And I've never touched that game ever since. Now, when it comes to this, The Last of Us Factions, it's just hilarious, man. It's hilarious because I've been saying, do not start making games just for live service. PlayStation, listen, listen, listen. Listen to me. If PlayStation would listen to me, we get it. Call of Duty makes a lot of money because people are dumb and they buy these fucking Call of Duty games and they spend so much money online, just like GTA 5. So much money is being made online. But guess what? Not every single game does that. Not every single game does that. Even Fortnite has been struggling and they got what? Like fucking... 8 million people playing when they were having that whole event when they went back to the old map I get it yeah you want to make money you want to have a product that can make money like that but then you're going to be paying like Xbox who, who pay eight, like 80 billion dollars and it's going to take years for them to make that money back even though Xbox is a freaking trillion dollar company. When you spend $80 billion, guess what? It still hurts your pocket. Even if you're a big trillion dollar company, it still hurts your pockets. You still have to make profit some way, somehow. Because at the end of the day, that is what rich people want. They want to make profit. Now, when it comes to this, The Last of Us, I told myself, I was like, you know what? I will never even touch that game. I would never, even if it came out, let's say it came out, I would never touch it because it's not for me. And when I started seeing some of the, uh, well, some of the leak concept, I was like, you know what, dad, that it doesn't look like it's going to be something like that. There's no way they're going to do something like that. Then you heard the whole, uh, 
Bungie came in and they were like, yeah, this doesn't look good. You're going to have to go back and rework it. Right then and there, I was like, you know what? This is not good news. This is not good. Who the hell does Bungie think they are? But at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? Bungie did make Halo, even though Halo has died slowly. They did make Destiny, which does make a lot of money. But at the end of the day, hasn't been that great of a game. And it's only live service. Well, now the news came that the Last of Us factions has been canceled because they've been struggling. They lost. I believe they said... PlayStation basically were like, you know what? We're going to scale it back. We're, 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 let's bring it back, guys. Let's let's bring it back, all right? Let's, uh, let's get this bad boy. Let's roll it back in. Let's roll it back in. You know what? And to be honest, I think PlayStation did a smart thing. You know, PlayStation, what I, what I like about PlayStation is that at times they make games. They're working on these certain games. And they'll look at it and they'll be like, man, fuck. It does not look good. Remember the whole the uh, God Award that was going to go into uh, fighting in Egypt and all that stuff. And I guess the main guy in PlayStation came in and was like, Mm-mm, this does not look good. And like the whole PlayStation crew was like, whoa, 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 what, what, what? The whole Santa Monica, I mean. And he was like, nope, scrap it, redo it. And guess what happened? We got the Norse mythology, which was phenomenal, which phenomenal. We're still going to get the Egypt take on God of War. But then guess what? They're going to go in there. Now they got their whole Norse mythology. Now they saw what worked. They're going to copy that. And PlayStation is going to be like, OK, let's get back into the Egypt mythology now. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I'm not surprised that this The Last of Us factions got canceled. Um I'm surprised they spent so much money on this, but PlayStation does this. PlayStation spends money on games, and if they think it's not going to work, guess what? They'll go in there, and they'll cut that uh, that lifeline, and they'll end it. Xbox, on the other hand, they're willing to drop anything just to have stuff out there. They're willing to drop anything. Redfall should have been canceled, man. Redfall should have been canceled, and I don't care what these Xbox players out there, how many times they edit these videos and all this and all that just to make their gameplay look good. We all know what Redfall was, okay? Uh, Xbox should have gone in there and either delay the fuck out of that game, just like Starfield, delay the fuck out of it, or straight up uh, cancel Redfall and just... Put the whole team working on Starfield and delay Starfield for another three years because we all know Starfield needed it. But at the end of the day, I'm not surprised. Let me know what you guys think. Do you are you guys surprised that the factions got canceled? I'm not, but maybe you are. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, share the video, go check out some of the shorts I've been making. Um, go follow me on TikTok. I had a I had one that fucking blew up like crazy. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoy it, thank you. Share, share the channel, share the video, share whatever. Uh, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a comment, leave a mean comment, whatever you want to. And uh, subscribe. Hey, subscribe. If you're a hater, if you're a lover, it don't matter. I'll catch you guys next time. I just leveled up, I thank God. Straight from the hood, now it's time to get the pie.